Christmas morn It's like the world is asleep The sun's not up and no one is stirring on our sleepy shoreline stream I'm awestruck by the quill Hello, hi, I'm Dolly Curtis and I'm off for the day in Clinton, Connecticut with my cameraman Vic Cromwell and we are visiting Tom Callanan and Ann Shapiro who are musicians. They are special musicians because they're Connecticut musicians and they're troubadours. They're people who travel around and entertain groups of children, adults, senior citizens and just about anybody who invites them I guess. And I was lucky enough to be entertained by these two wonderful musicians in Easton and have come and asked them if they wouldn't share with you today. So I thought before we start, Tom, maybe you could tell the audience a little bit about what you special specialize in and all of, tell them a little bit about the fact you were the state troubadour. Okay, Dolly. Yeah, I was the uh, state troubadour selected back in 1991, the first ever state troubadour. Uh, people say I've written more songs about Connecticut than anyone in history. I don't know if that's true, but I'll accept the uh, moniker. <laughs> uh, Going to be playing on this song. This will be the Connecticut State song, uh, Yankee Doodle. goes back to Revolutionary War times. And um, I'll be playing a number of instruments on this uh, tune, starting with a penny whistle, going to spoons, a dancing doll called a limberjack, and ending up with an Irish drum called a, a boron. And, and we'll be playing the guitar. So is that the type of music you usually play? Is it's a sort of a folk-based music, yeah. And we kind of put our own little flavor to it. I know you play traditional music. Oh, yes. I and know you original. play your original. Yep. And we'll do an original song after that. Okay, so I'm going to let you do that. Everybody's going to enjoy this, and then we'll talk a little bit later. Okay, Dolly. Wonderful. Going to play another one, though? Yeah, absolutely. And that shows you a little bit of improvisation there, because uh, my, <laughs> my drumstick dropped in the middle of that tune, and uh, I had to play with my bare hand on the, uh, on the drums. So just to show you, those of you who think that when your drumstick goes down, you're dead, <laughs> looks to you're me, not. Looks to me like you know what you're doing, and you've done this a lot before. Well, one time I had the drum, uh, uh, the drumstick flew out of my hand in a, in a live show, and uh, it went flying into a bush, and I had to end up playing with my bare hands. So you learn to improvise. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? I'm going to do a song I wrote called uh, Connecticut is More Than Just a Corridor. It's a song I wrote back in 1988, which led to my being named the official state troubadour. Uh, it's about many of the different tourist attractions and sites around the state of Connecticut. And it was inspired by... Um, uh, the Connecticut Economic Development Commission. They asked me to uh, go down to Philadelphia to sing to some travel writers from the mid-Atlantic states and in the course of the conversation said, is there any song about, and then they started naming a whole bunch of stuff and I said, no. But on the way home from that meeting I wrote this song and... Now there is. Now there is. <laughs> well, let's hear it then. little educational too. The chorus goes, there are 169 towns in Connecticut and thousands of sites along the way. So come and get acquainted with the Constitution State in Connecticut. There's nothing far away. There are 169 towns in Connecticut and thousands of sites along the way. So come and get acquainted with the Constitution State in Connecticut. Tens of thousands every day pass through the Constitution State in their rat race between 
Boston and New York. Near them was just 200 miles of winding highway snake, or the trains along the Northeast Corridor. But the throughway skirts communities, the railroad tracks divide, so you never feel the pulse of an E-Town. For commuters, the few tends to be homogenized. See this place, you've got to look around. In Mystic, there's the seaport, the village and the ships at the aquarium. Beluga whales and dolphins doing flips at state parks and beaches, both in land and at the shore. People can enjoy the out of doors. Take the swingboards across the river to the good speed opera house, then to Gillette's castle for the view. Ride the steam train in Essex with your children and your spouse, or hire a boat so you can fish for blue. Carousel into a haven's lighthouse park. Then climb me struck to view the old city and the sound. Take in a player dancing after dark. Traveling northward to Hartford, there are scores of sights to see. Historic homes from colonial days. Stopping at an orchard or a bushel or a pie. Or have a drink right where the cider's made. Oh, the capital's magnificent. Overlooking Bushnell Park. And the gold building glistens in the sun. Athenaeum has such lovely works of art. See the old state house before your trip is done. Travel west to ride the rapids in a tube to get your thrills. Or meander the roads of the northwest. Enjoy the scenic splendor of those quiet Litchfield hills and any season it's New England at its best. There are a hundred and sixty-nine towns in Connecticut and thousands of sites along the way. Take Route 8 south to where it peaks I-95. In Bridgeport you can visit Captain's Cove. That's where you'll find history that really comes alive. Aboard the restored HMS Rose. Oh, there's the Barnum House, and further south learn about the Maritime. In Norwalk where you can spend some time and some money. It's still the land of steady habits. But with a modern flair, if you doubt it, try to find Danbury Fair. It's a mall. So in the Berkshires and all along. Massachusetts line from the suburbs of New York along the shore. From the border of Rhode Island and in all the towns you'll find Connecticut's more than just a corridor. Oh, there's so much so near to see and do from the mountains to the shore. The bustle of today beside the quietude of yore. Hard and drive and rock and roll, the gospel and folklore. In Connecticut, there's always something more. There are a hundred and sixty-nine towns in Connecticut and thousands of sites My husband found me this ukulele. Some lady had it in her attic. It belonged to her grandfather or something, and she didn't really know what she had. It's a Martin ukulele, which is a very nice brand. And uh, Tom called right up and got it for me, and uh, then I learned how to play it. It's amazing <laughs> to think a little instrument like that can make such beautiful little music. Did you go to college to do this after that age 10, the piano 13? Nope, and then No. Nope, nope. I went to hippie school is the way I always say it. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's all I right. I just started doing it, and that was it. When I was 18, I got my first job working in a school with children to help them learn how to read through singing songs and making up their own songs. So you've been a songwriter then and a musician all the way, the all whole the way. time. That's it. So with all that experience, and you mm -hmm. can play that for us so you can... Yeah, I'll play you a song called Ukulele Lady. Ukulele Lady. <laughs> Another you. 